welcome back to another gluten-free, lactose-free and yeast-free baking video. How are we doing today? Today I'm going to be making a banana and chocolate chip loaf, which of course is going to be gluten-free, lactose-free and yeast-free. You will be needing the following equipment. Some scales, a chopping board, a knife, a fork, a two pound bread tin, some baking paper, a pencil and some scissors, some spray oil, a mixing bowl, a wooden spoon or electric hand whisk, a spatula, a cake tester, a skewer, a toothpick or a teaspoon handle just to make sure your loaf is cooked. And finally, a cooling rack. You will also be needing the following ingredients. 140 grams of butter softened, I like to use lacto-free butter. 140 grams of caster sugar. Two medium-sized eggs beaten. 140 grams of gluten-free self-raising flour. Two bananas mashed, very ripe if possible. And finally, 100 grams of dairy-free or lacto-free milk chocolate chopped into small pieces. So, let's go! First things first, measure out and prepare all of your ingredients so that they're completely ready for you to use. And then preheat your oven to 180 degrees C on a conventional oven, 160 degrees C on a fan oven, or gas mark 4. And now that we've done all that, it is now time to prepare our tin. So for this, we will be needing our bread tin, our spray oil, our baking paper, our pencil and our scissors. So now all we have to do is place our bread tin on top of our baking paper as close to the edge as possible. Move that back a bit, there we go. And then using our pencil, draw around the bottom. And now using our scissors, cut that out. And now we're going to use our spray oil, just give our bread tin a good spray, including the sides, not so much the bottom because that's gonna be covered with the baking paper. Place our baking paper into our bread tin with the side you drew on facing down because we don't want any of that stuff to go into our lovely loaf. And then I'm just going to give that another quick spray as well because it makes the baking paper easier to get off the bottom of your loaf. There we go. So now that we've done all this, place this off to the side until we're ready to bake. So now that we've done all that nasty prep work, it is now time to begin actually making our loaf. So for this we will be needing our wooden spoon or electric hand whisk, our mixing bowl, our spatula and all of our ingredients. So the first thing we've got to do is add our butter to our mixing bowl, followed by our caster sugar, scraping down the sides as per normal. And now we're going to mix these together until they are light and fluffy. You're on five? No, you should be on one. So now that that is all done, I'm going to add my beaten eggs. And now I'm going to beat these together until well combined. So now it is time to add my flour to my mixture, but first I'm just going to put a little bit of it in with my chocolate because what that should do, although I haven't tested it with these to be honest, is prevent these from falling to the bottom of the batter when it's baking. Because it doesn't matter because all the flour is going to end up in there eventually, so it doesn't matter how it gets there. Okay, so they're all lovely and coated, so I'll put them there to add in a minute. So this flour needs to be added a little bit at a time to our main mixture until it is fully incorporated. So now I'm just going to give my flour bowl one last wipe down. And place that off to the side. And now it is time to add all of my banana to my mixture. And 
and place that off to the side. And now what I'm actually just going to wipe round the wipe swipe wipe round the sides of my mixing bowl, just so I lose as little as possible of that mixture. And now I'm going to mix this together until fully combined. And now with our final ingredient, we add all of this to our mixture. And again, mix together until fully combined. So now that we've done all this, it is now time to place it into our bread tin. So for this, we are going to be needing our prepared bread tin. So now all that is left to do is add this to this, so let's get on with it. There we are, and I'm just going to flatten it a little bit, making sure it gets into all the corners. There we are, perfecto. So now we're going to place this into our preheated oven for 50 to 55 minutes or until we insert a cake tester, a skewer, a toothpick or a teaspoon handle and it comes out completely clean. Or another way to check that it is done is to press down on it and if it springs back you know it's finished. After that time we're going to take it out of the oven, placing it onto a cooling rack for 10 minutes. And after those 10 minutes we're going to take our loaf out of its tin, placing it onto a cooling rack to cool completely. And that is it, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the description below where you will find the recipe for this lovely loaf and the links to as many of the flour and equipment you will need for this recipe. If you do make this at home, don't forget to tag me on Instagram and use the hashtag BakingWithVicky so that I can see all your lovely creations. Let me know in the comments below of anything else you'd like to see me make gluten, lactose or yeast free as I do them all. And finally, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you next time. Bye!